moved here when he was three years old. Clancy about to get the match underway here in Tokyo. His final preparations are being made for the Rugby World Cup. It goes left and it's uh, knocked forward, I think, by Uruguay. Japanese ball. Good to get an early run. And not really tackled there, Fukuoka. On to Leach, the captain for Japan. Ball recycled. Tanaka throws it out. Ono with a little jink and a spill. Omache out. Goes for territory. Something they didn't do very well last week, Uruguay. Put the ball out in the full a lot. And Goromaru finds a very good few meters that time but Uruguay take it quickly taken down by the man who kicked but Jesse was up in defense for Uruguay they go wide again and it's a territorial game at the moment with a good roll on Mieres puts it onto his left foot foot leeches back place for the Waikato I should say the Chiefs. And again, another kick. Their fourth one in the game so far. But Chassis back with a foot inside his own 22. Tui, I think it was, trying to claim it over the touchline. And the first line out. So Eddie Jones rumors about him going to the Stormers. And Super Rugby next year as Japan take a quick line out through Hori. Ono shuffles it on to Craig Wing. Back in the team for the first time in about two years. Tanaka finds some space. Hori goes through. He scored a try last week. Tanaka pushes it over. There's a bit of space. The bounce of the ball will be critical. And it finds the touchline. Saving Uruguay there. Very positive. Clean start from Japan. Uruguay. Sabino with a nice tackle around the legs. Uruguay forced to tackle a lot in this first two minutes. See Japan with a height advantage there. Thompson up at 196. But Zabino after that tackle. Omachea. Pulling the jumper is the call from Clancy. <laughs> but Jesse does what he should. It's a nice clearance from the penalty there. You can see the path of the ball coming from Zubino. Showing that he was pulled by Leach. Abuleya makes it two line outs in a row. Pick and drive this time from Uruguay, trying to suck Japan in. That's the way Japan started the match last week. Another meter. Japan not really committing. As Broadhurst goes in for a clean out. Knock on there as he tried to pick and go. Did Abolea, I think it was, yes. Uruguay number two. There we see Pablo Lemoyne, head coach of Uruguay. Two tries in 2003 at the World Cup. Two victories to date in their two World Cups. Uruguay, one over Spain, one over Georgia. Japan, on the other hand, seven World Cups, one victory back in 1991 against Zimbabwe. Steady first scrum there. That'll please. Tanaka wants to get it going. Little short kick, kick. Fukuoka takes it nicely. He's in, he's out, but he's taken in the cover tackle brilliantly. Given how it was, it was a cross. Tui finds Mikami. He goes straight ahead. Tui's back into it. 
Lays the ball back. It's quick ball for Japan. The runner was Broadhurst. He got it on the shoulder. Time up. Arada, I need you to check something, please. And Clancy wants a look. Arada, can you check something, please? Hear more. I want it. I want to check if there was an obstruction of a supporting player in back play. So following the breakaway, I want to check on the number of the Uruguay player that obstructed an opponent. What was it, GMO? Yeah. What? What? Yeah. Okay, so obstruction during the last play from a Uruguayan player. Yeah. Holding a Japanese player back. That's the call from Clancy. Let's see what TMO Harada finds. There's a bit of dew on the ground here at Tokyo Evening. This is Tokyo Evening. That was a lovely kick from Ono. Fukuoka in and out brilliantly. Yeah, okay, so you see on the left, there's a player there, Harada. And then we see in the background, so it was who collided with someone. I need to identify that player from Uruguay, please. Okay, Clancy, I think, is... Uh, could be a card coming here because he seems to know what happened. He's just not sure which player was involved. Yeah, so that player, I need his up line. Oh, there we go. That was it. Taken out, Sal. Taken out. Almost a head high tackle as well. Ten minutes in the bin. That was a strange run from the Uruguayan halfback. Thank you. Harada, wait. Stop. What I'm seeing is that a supporting player was taken out. Do you agree? Thank you. No, no. There's a supporting player. Well, he tried to defend himself, but uh, silly stuff. Augustine Omacheya will get a rest for 10 minutes and that'll put the pressure on Uruguay. Leach calls for the silo for the kick to the corner. Take advantage of the, uh, the one-man advantage. And Goromaru does just that. Line out five metres out. We've seen a couple of uh, tries from the line out, from the drive from Japan. Will we see it again? It looks like it. Hendrik Tui has scored on a couple of occasions. He has it as they try to keep their form. They go down. The ball is there somewhere. Well defended by Uruguay. And they've produced a penalty as well. That will impress the coach. And it's that uh, pocket rocket of a blind side flanker, Gamanara, in the thick of it. He was a handful, a handful last week, but he did um, get a few penalties against them as well. Well, not the start. Japan want, would have wanted with that numerical adva advantage. Uruguay, another line now. That's three for them. A nice clean take this time by Nieto. Almost lost his shorts. But the ball goes forward with the man in blue. And pulled down, pulling them all down to the call. Now, but Jesse, not sure if this is within his range, but he's got a big kick on him. A 10 meter line. He's going to go for field position. So accurate starts from both teams so far. And well done, Uruguay, there. Here we see it was Tui on the side. Thompson perhaps lost his balance. Variation to the front, but same uh, jumper in Nieto. Going to drive again. They're being met. Thompson's gone through the middle, but 
Uruguay communicate and go around the side. A lot of traffic. Three defenders from Japan that time. The Chessie's in the half back. Look like they're going to keep it close to go one out. One off runner again. Magno, the open side. But Chessy, he's uh, delivering the ball nicely from halfback as the number 10. Organising his troops. They go to Abolea, who lets it go past. Quick ball, Japan. Tanaka, it's a charge down there. Not quite the execution he would have wanted. Villaseca, the younger brother of the captain, Santiago. Nieto being busy. Secures that one again. As Uruguay push forward slowly, but Chessie goes high. Matsushima gets a run. In for Hesketh on that right wing. Another little kick. The bounce is not a good one for Fukuoka. Kenki Fukuoka. Oh no, he had a look up though. That's smart play. It reminds me a little bit of Colin Slade. And the way he runs with the ball in hand there and just delivering that kick. As I mentioned, he has played with him. Could say, oh no. Well, that wasn't uh, particularly straight, but Clancy lets it go. Another tidy Uruguayan lineout. Standing still is Parada. Caught behind the game line. But Chassis stabs it ahead. And it beats everyone to the touchline. And so far, so good for Uruguay with only 14 men on the field. I'm not going to throw it again down for you. You'll hurry on and get to the match. But a little warning there from referee Clancy as they try to kill some time. Broadhurst slaps it down. Hori, though. And Japan get it in the end. Tanaka, no. Ono bursts upfield after stepping two. Tanaka gets it. Hori. He's a good runner as well. He's a Japanese hooker. Player not rolling away there. Hitoshi Ono, number five for Japan, trying his best to get rid of the player over the ball. He earns his 93rd cap today. Goromaru. Again, with a top touch finder. Well, it's a happy hunting ground is Prince Chichibu Memorial Stadium. Two years ago, a lot of these players who are here today for Japan were part of the team that beat Wales 23 points to eight. Tui. Hendrik Tui. Two tries a week ago. Goes for a run. Nice interplay. Sal. Hands on the ball. Nieto pushed away. Ball goes too wide of the ruck that time. It was a nice pass. Tanaka finds Thompson. Last week he was on the bench. He finds his locking partner, Ono, who's met hard. Broadhurst scored a try in that match two years ago against Wales. Nice offload from the open side flanker. Tanaka's there, of course. Craig Wing takes the dummy. And there's another man who scored two years ago. Sorry, it's Koromaru. Ayumu Koromaru. I thought it was Craig Wing for a start because of his position there. But Broadhurst was left alone. For some reason, Gamanara let him go. 
And after that, quick hands. Nice running. Little delay. The dummy from Goromaru. And the first try is on the board. Well, really started from Thompson and his little offload. And Broadhurst. And just simple hands in the dummy. There are numbers outside, so the Uruguayan defense was in two minds. Japan is on the board. Well, it's the, it's the all-time point scorer for Japan. He scored 15 last week from the boot. They pushed it up to nearly 550 points for his country in all tests. And uh, this is his 52nd test. And I think he brought it back around. He did indeed to convert his own try. Pleasing start for Japan and Eddie Jones as the Brave Blossoms lead 7-0 here after about 15 minutes. Chewie loves to run. Japan using Goromaru smartly to kick downfield and gain some good meters and an honor across field with his kicks. Tui again under it. Gets another run this time, gets a bit more space. Gets up to full speed. He's looking for the cut from Matsushima. And he's got it. He slices through, tries to offload, decided to hold the ball. Crashing through. That's a try for Japan. Right from the kickoff, it can't have taken more than a minute. Japan's on the board with another try. This time to Kase Ono. Hendrik Tui split the Uruguayans from the kickoff reception. Matsushima accelerated. He was brought down, got himself, got the ball free. One runner among the blue jerseys. And the first five, after pulling out with injury last week, is on the board. Well, he was only there a minute ago, Ayumu Goromaru. And he's going to have another, another go, this time from the other side. From the same side, sorry, a lot closer though. 14 nil Japan. And that was very nice play. Uruguay. Uruguay really do need to bounce back here. They started strongly, they started in a very positive manner the line has been going well Ormache is back on perhaps a lapse there to eat Groundhog Day as he takes it again and goes for another run and the same pattern for Japan it's working Mieres shuffles it over the chassis goes for a little chip Japanese defense is there. It's covered by Tanaka. Sloppy around the ruck, but Japan do get it this time. Broadhurst steps off his right. Half through. Oh, no. Wing. Nice hands from Sal. He almost gets away from Villaseca. Uruguay number 12. Hori is light on his feet, the Japanese hooker. Tanaka, 
turns them around. Yedes has a bit of time. Uses his football skills to get that one downfield. Well, you can see Japan are following a structure here. It's working for them. Broadhurst uses the jumper for Japan. Tui as the was it Leach as the battery ramp battering ramp. Leach it was the captain. Tanaka looking. Where should it go? Or not? Again goes for the wing. There's a bit of space there. Fukuoka's going to challenge in the air. Miedes as well. Perhaps just a lineup may have gone back from. Mieres. Okay, yeah. Exactly. Off blue. Clancy asking the question. Oh no, is very, very good at those little kicks. You see the Uruguayan defense is up quite flat through the center. And that's the right call. Broadhurst off the top. To it. Beats one. Tanaka is looking for the ball. Gamanara, it was who's stolen it. He's so much like Phil Wall, the Australian, former Australian flanker. And if we see a replay of that one, how Gamanara got in there and stole the ball from Japan. No contest from Uruguay. Oh, up in defense quickly. Goromaru, though, takes a bit to stop. Tanaka, the littlest man on the field, felt that one. Thompson, New Zealand born veteran here in this Japanese side. Tanaka, oh no. Intercept, advantage play on, it's Abolea who throws a speculative ball. Clancy was there, he says that one went forward, it will be a Uruguayan scrum though. Japan trying to play, I think it was Sal who wasn't quite ready for this one. Uh, Tui, yes it was, sorry, Craig Wing thought Henrik Tui was going to get the ball. Yeah, I'll have a word. I'm, I'm looking at it. I don't want to see Craig Wing uh, from a rugby league background. And uh, the news here with his start. The last chance perhaps for him to make a World Cup claim. A little word there about the runners, the dummy runners in the Japanese back line from referee Clancy. So an, a number of World Cup caps in the Japanese team, like Hitoshi Ono, Broadhurst, Thompson, all been there, done that for Japan. Aiming for the quarterfinals this year, going to be a tough one for the Brave Blossoms, Uruguay. No players with World Cup experience, apart from the coach, of course, Pablo Lemoyne. Last in the Rugby World Cup in 2003. Scrum holds for Japan. Oh no. Straight this time, he's looking for Matsushima. Gets him early, puts it on the foot. Sloppy defense from Uruguay, but it's tidied by Meres. He goes to ground. Omachea. One out runner. Say hello to Luke Thompson. Nieto got a knock on the head last week. He looked a bit ginger there. He certainly did. Blindsided by Luke Thompson. Not rolling away is the call. Bit of blood again this time. Perhaps from the brow. 
So we got a cut on the head, came back with the headgear on last week. I think he was replaced temporarily by Juan de Freitas. But he's also got a bit of claret this time. He really didn't see Luke Thompson coming. Let's have a look here. Head clash it was, I think, from... Well, between Thompson and Nieto. So 20 days and 12 hours and 34 minutes to go until the Rugby World Cup kicks off in England. Exciting times for all rugby fans. And Nieto, well, blood injury here. It should not affect his World Cup chances at all. And they bring on Matthias Beer. Big raps on this kid. 21 years of age. So going for a bit more speed around the breakdown. Perhaps uh, try and get into some of those Japanese runners. Steal a bit more ball along with Kamenara. No line outs against this row so far in the match. Okay, musical chairs there, line out time. Japan, keep the gap. Nice big gap. So don't, so don't cross the line, and that's, that's what I no, no, no. They go to the back, but it's thrown over Matthias Beer. Hendrik Tsui goes forward for Japan. Tanaka off on a run. Matsushima was on his own, so he puts it on the toe. Omachaya back. Matsushima makes contact but the uh, Uruguayan halfback did well Broadhurst pulls it from the middle of the in between the two teams Malesau goes on a run Tanaka Ono Spins around as the defense came up. They probe the blind side to Japan. Tanaka. Runner is Thompson. Keep it alive. On the short ball, straight through. Goes Fukuoka. Can he find some support? Omachaya covering in behind was there. That was a lovely ball from Ono. They go left again. Hands might do it. Leach on Prada, the centre. He's too strong. Sorry, it's Broadhurst. Michael Broadhurst brought in this week at open side for Hayden Hopgood. Into his 50s and caps is Broadhurst. And he's a prominent try scorer for the Brave Blossoms. He's done it again. Ono with a lovely ball as Corral was sucked in. Uruguayan prop. Machea did well, but Fukuoka fought very hard to keep the ball alive. Ono, simple hands, two forwards out there. Prada stepped by Broadhurst. And another try for Japan. So 19-0 as the Yuma Goromaru gets to kick from the other side.
And he puts it straight down the middle. Nice work. From the Japanese number 15. And it's a very convincing lead here for Japan. Ono is directing play very well. In for Tatakawa, who was in for him last week. Tanaka surveyed the options. Thompson. Broad has still had work to do. 21-0 Japan. Matsushima throws the dummy. Makes some ground. Well, they've worked their patterns very well, Japan. Mieres. Is for a run. Might beat a few. Well, Machaya, can they uh, test it out wide, give the, the centers a bit of a run? Andre Vilaseca, strip ball, but uh, back in the hands of the Uruguayans. Good hands, Magno gets it on the outside. Not releasing. Ball to Japan. Fukuoka that time made the tackle up on his feet and secured the penalty well, Japan will be targeting USA in their pole pole B for a victory one of the first times the Uruguayan team has put it out through the hands. Here we see Fukuoka making the tackle straight on top, on his feet, contesting the ball penalty. Leach breaking a tackle or two. Hori, again, he's very elusive. Is the Japanese hooker. Ono, Craig Wing. Getting involved there. Oh, big hit. Ono was driving it on. He got floored. Uruguay have taken the ball off Japan. A good run here. It's Magno, I think. The nice little chip and chase. It is too. The open sider showing his skills and he gets to his feet. Well played. Great awareness. Keeps the ball alive for Uruguay. Captain takes it in. Santiago Villaseca. Umachea. It's Prada. Having a run. He missed the tackle on Broadhurst. Needs to get into play. But Jesse taken low. Oh, Clancy, Clancy is clear. Rocket form. Atakiyama reaching over. Felipe Bercesi along with Augustino Machea playing the French League. Just two players based overseas. Rugby very much an amateur game in Uruguay and proud of it. Said it was Magno. Of course it wasn't Magno, the open side flanker. It was the winger who's uh, in this week. Had a bit of time last week, Leandro Levas. That chip and chase. Levas looking like a flanker when he uh, went into the contact, of course. A few phases building here for Uruguay. Straight down the call. So a relieving penalty for Japan. 
good listening to get it away, okay? Yeah, it's no more. Play it straight away. So it's the uh, after the blood bin, Nieto went straight to ground supporting the player there. Outside of the hand from Thompson, it works though. Craig Wing shuffles off nicely to Malasau. He's a strong runner, is the Japanese center. It's popped up though as it's ball, ball driven forward. Uruguay with a chance here. Corral. Villaseca takes it on like a loose forward. Well, the Chaya skips away. Stolen by Japan. Passing very tight territory there. Goromaru thinks about the kick, takes the the pass instead. Fukuoka is everywhere. He's made a lot of meters so far. And George Clancy says he held on too long. Well, pink for what he won the penalty for just a few minutes ago play certainly starting to open up here but Jesse third tackler finally got him Tight car for Abolea. Uruguayan hooker, perhaps cramping up a little. And it will be a Uruguayan line-out in between the halfway and, uh, and 22. Just one line out against the throw. That was the overthrow. The win over the blood bin replacement, Matias Beer. They go wide. Good run there. Levas straight into it. Not tackled, not held. He is a handful. And he's showing he wants to be in that World Cup squad. Ball on the ground. Ruled okay. No knock on. But Chessie. All this tight traffic there, both of them cutting into the same space or switching. Gamanada. Just knocked on here. Just knocked on. Steel was good and then it was knocked on. So the call there, the steel was good, but a slight knock on by Japan. Big stop, big stop. And Broadhurst, well, he did fumble it forward. Well, that's what Clancy says. Very good opportunity here for Uruguay, middle of the park. Scrum, they've got a solid scrum. Let's see, I would be looking for Leandro Levas on the right wing if I was Uruguay. They try to push them. The ball is uh, kind of stuck in behind Japanese feet as it started to twist. George Clancy says uh, we'll have another scrum. Uruguay hold on to the ball. Move it out here. We go again. The turf getting a little bit yeah. roughed up there. Get that shoulder out and you're going straight. Yeah. Get that shoulder out and you as well. Okay. Here we go. I'm looking at the hips. Okay. Oh, 
Japan with a strong scrub. Another scrum for Uruguay. The, uh, the scrum was good last week, but the Brave Blossoms have made some personnel changes. Luke Thompson's back in there. Ataki Yama is in that front row. Broadhurst on the side. I like it. I can see you're doing your best here. So, Japan trying to push Uruguay off the ball here, which is Uruguay's forte to hold hold opposition and win those kind of scrum battles very much like Argentina of course the big brothers rugby wise so Los Teros need a clean hook here from Abolea he had a bit of cramp or something in that calf so perhaps that's affecting him they need to hook it back early on the ball is sitting there it's twist twist the game but they get a bit of a push on and they go right towards Levas. He needs the ball early. He gets it. Offloads. There's a knock on. Promising play, Uruguay. Leandro Levas was to be the recipient there. And he got a bit of ground. Fukuoka hung on to him. Sal got a hand in there. But Chessy, sorry. Miades was spilling the ball in the end forward. Are you okay? Some of the players cramping up. It is the hooker. That's that calf. So, Captain? Just on the, on the last scrum. I didn't see any infringement. Bit of a headache here for Pablo Lemoyne. But I tell you, I, correct. But I told this one after you that he used it. We talk there between Clancy and Santiago Villaseca, the Uruguayan captain. Fumiaki Tanaka looking uh, so he's enjoying proceedings out there. Brave Blossoms certainly are going for it. Abolea is on his feet. Going to put that calf under pressure with a scrum. Japan have the ball. Very defensive scrum here. But they have a very healthy lead of 21 to nil with just over a minute to go in this first half here in Tokyo. Hendrik Tui doesn't waste any time going for a run and going inside one. Tanaka. Koromaru. He finally puts boot to ball after um, he's put under some pressure. Levas opens it up. Mieres. Left foot from him. And it bounces out. There were a lot of balls out in the full last week from Uruguay. Perhaps they should have... Uh, or more on the attack and the counter attack that time after putting good pressure on Goromaru <laughs> 10 line outs from 10 for Japan they'll be pleased with that Shotohori again finds the tall timber of 1 meter 96 Luke Thompson Ball here, Japan just killing time. I feel Ono oh, puts it out. Clancy calls for half time here in Tokyo. Eddie Jones grabs his notebook and he should be pretty pleased with that first 40 from his troops. Tries there for Goromaru, Broadhurst, and Ono. Oh, the first five and three conversions for a 21 nil lead for the brave blossoms in the second match the final warm-up match for japan before the rugby world cup kicks off 
And we'll be back soon with the second half. We'll see if he's replaced uh, Mangno on the open side. Deep kick from Bercesi. As usual, Tui grabs it and goes forward, but he spills it. Uruguay, flat ball, but front foot. Bercesi. Pass behind and uh, hit hard was the winger. Given out. Straight up the middle, and that's effective from Uruguay. Little shuffle of the ball. That's Nieto, I think, the number eight going through. Hard to see the number. Oh, well controlled by Gamanara, but Japan have stolen it. Goromaru shuffles it across to Leach as they look to open up. Hands it is. Fukuoka's all the way over on the... Uh, on the wing there, both the wingers beside one another. They go the same way. Hatakiyama in this week, the prop, gets his hands on the ball as well. Hendrik Tui finds himself out in the centres. Quick ball from Japan. It was Ono, I think, was playing for halfback. That time it was uh, Tanaka. So, shuffles in. Japan are very well drilled today. Very polished. Tanaka goes for a run, puts the fan on Gamanada. Loses the ball, though, in the tackle from his opposite. And Clancy didn't miss that one. Advantage Uruguay. Field position should be the aim here for Bichessi. And he does that very nicely. Very, very nicely. Takes his team up to halfway. Fukuoka went for the run. Ball in two hands. Then he put it under his wing until he got clipped. Another line out win for Japan very steady replacement going in there and Tarakawa who we saw last week at first five we'll see see where he's taken his place on the field the big man they're in close Tanaka Ono shuffles it on Tarakawa, I think, might be in the centres. Luke Thompson offloads, as does Tanaka. Ataki Yama goes straight. Mikami, hands from Japan. Matsushima tries to slide past, but he loses it forward. Once again, nice play from Japan. Straight running, good lines. Tackle there from Givenau. That one deflects, but uh, straight to Tanaku fires a big pass out. There we see Tatakawa standing in the centers. He may well be on for Craig Wing. He's a sol solidly built first five, so he could fit in nicely anywhere along the back line. Leach and meters gained. Broadhurst wants a double. Tanaka. Sal. Nice from Goromaru. Matsushima does enough to score. Their ball from Goromaru was a brilliant one. It surprised the defensive winger, Gimenao. 
And Japan are on the board once again after just a few minutes. Here we go again. Tatakawa was first receiver. Sal, half cap. Goromaro picked up a very low ball. Got it away. Kept his poise there. Reminiscent of um, Carlos Spencer for the All Blacks a few years back now. Fired one through the year, through the legs. I think it was against South Africa. So first try today for Kotaro Matsushima. Japan now have four. Another two from the Japanese fullback. 28 points to nil over Uruguay here. Five minutes into the second half. There's your try scorer, and there's the score. Michael Leach, the Japanese captain, ready for the kickoff. Pablo Lemoyne. Well, what do Uruguay do here? Hendrik Tui, yet again. And once again through the first tackle. The players stay down, but it may be just because he's tired. Uruguay, let's see if they can counter attack. It's going to be put on the foot again. And that is a nice kick. Kept in by Kose Ono. Fires it back to the biggest boot on the field. Ayumi Goromaru. He finds the stands. Nice defensive play from Japan. Really would like to see Uruguay run the ball back at Japan as Kessler takes over from Abolea in the middle of the front row into the hooker's roll. Abalea there was uh, was struggling with his calf. Japanese subs as well. That's Makabe. Returning from injury, an injury he suffered uh, last November. Nice line out win for Uruguay. Thompson wrestling for it, but uh, Uruguay hold on. So Makabe, he is a giant. He replaced Ono, Japan's most capped player. And the change is coming thick and fast. That's Matias Palomeque for Uruguay coming on, number 19. That's the captain going off, Santiago Villaseca. Set. So final 30 minutes for for all of these players to impress the coaches before those World Cup squads are announced in the next couple of days. Tui's name will be there, Tanaka's name will be there for Japan, as well as Captain Leach. Maccabi needs to show his fitness is okay with a 30-minute cameo here. Tanaka. Tatakawa and at first receiver, Sao. It's again through the defensive line. 
Thompson will do that all day as he hits the line. Tanaka. Ono. Leach. Gets up some speed. Hachiya. Hataki Yama was who started that one. Makabe is on the ball now. Look at that. He's a monster of a man. We go right hand side. Tui frees up Matsushima, who accelerates like a freight train into that one. Makabe once again. Tanaka has his hands on the ball. It's busy that way. Matsushima, though, dances through, offloads. And Japan score yet again. Hendrik Tui scores his third try in two weeks. Now that was a team effort. About a thousand passes. Nice running was very crowded on the right hand side as Tanaka found Matsushima. In some way he was able to dance his way through the crowd. Thompson. Koromaru up from fullback involved there. Makabe twice in the in the play on the right hand side. Matsushima really shouldn't have got through as he went past the new player, Halomeke. And Hendrik Tui had time to put it down. Oodles of time. He scores yet again, does a Japanese number eight. Watanabe is coming on. Number 16 on his back, which is normally hooker, but he slots into the into the uh, propping roll. It's only 21 years of age. Well, as Gotomaro lines up yet another kick. Uruguay will be looking to get on the border, not through a penalty. They'll be looking to score a try or two here and show that they are capable of that. Well, he can't convert it. First miss of the night from the boot of Goromaru. But Japan with a very healthy... 33 points to nil lead and Uruguay are emptying the bench, there's another new sub, saying Guinepti jumping into the front row Roman as well, you see number 23, so Looks like Uruguay played their card, or cards, in terms of reserves. Matsushima. Going wide earlier, Japan. Sal offloads to Leach. He's taken, taken down in a big tackle. Totokawa. Crawling through. Big hits. Going to ground. Man on the ball. Ball's off the ground at the moment. That's Levas doing some good work. But it's released. Uruguayan reserves are coming up fast in defense. Short route from Japan as Watanabe goes through. On the, On for Tui. Tatikawa finds a... A hole in the defense, but he can't find his teammates. Seven phases. Tanaka goes to the foot. There's a bit of space in behind. Prada. He has uh, Matsushima on him. That's the other Duran. Oscar Duran is out there as well. Number 17. Back to Bacchessi. And he'll try and clear. Hang on, touch here. Had his foot in touch when he threw it in, which is okay. Yeah. But it, with a uh, quick throw, and you need to put your foot outside of play. Can't keep your foot inside. A little lesson there. As we see 
Juan de Freitas come into the fray now. He got a bit of time last week, mostly uh, blood bin for Nieto. And towards the end of the match, so Uruguay players really need to push their cases here as we see Tanaka going off as well. Hiwasa, who started in uh, Fukuoka, is now on the park. Sao again, taken by Villaseca. Hiwasa. A one-off pass. Oh no. Hiwasa having a look up. The big man are doing it up the middle. Trying to make those yards. Henrik Tui knows how to do that. He shows the way. Hiwasa passes into the player. Advantage. And Japan take it quickly. Atakiyama. Hey, 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 stop, stop, stop. Hey, Makabe gets in there and uh, forms a human wall in between the players. He'll be hoping he's timing his run for back from injury well as there's only 20 days to go and he's uh, back on the field for the national side. Just the captain again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scott, captain. Captain. Once again, now my attention is drawn to your guys going ahead of the ball carrier in the back line. Okay. Oh, got him out of. That wasn't quite what he planned, but it worked out very nicely. Be careful, guys, there's no obstruction, okay? Clancy telling the Japanese back line to watch the obstruction as they fire the ball wide. Another clean line out with Thompson. They're looking to get that drive. It was nullified by Uruguay earlier. They keep their shape, but now they're going to go to ground. Broadhurst. A placement prop. Tanabe there as well. Another low drive. Iwasa gets caught up. World's biggest halfback, Watanabe, in there. We've got a knock on. It did get pretty sloppy. Broadhurst asking the referee, what about the hands? Say again. And I think that's the final Japanese reserve coming on. Yamashita. Another front rower. That will be uh, Takiyama coming off. Yes, indeed. Hatakiyama, a good effort from him. Hamashita started last week. Also in uh, Fukuoka, of course. Come half. Come half. Be careful. Crash! Referee Cam to see the, uh, the scrum here. Hidden chase. Hidden chase. chase the call from George Clancy. Omachaya was expecting that, I think. Shotohori asking what was going on as the halfback takes it quickly. Good chase through from Hori. But Bacchesi gets it away. Aleandro Nieto is uh, 
tough this one out after getting a knock in a bit of blood early on. Hendrik Tui goes for a good run. He's beaten four. Advantage. That one went forward from the hand of Broadhurst. Disappointing for Japan, but Hendrik Tui doing it on his own. Another storming run. He has been everywhere today. Okay, I know what you want. I know what Broadhurst with the throw down. One, two, three with the step. Gamanada got hold of him, and that's where the ball travelled forward. He's been a monster out there, has Hendrik Tui. Three tries in two weeks. Shotohori leaves for Takeshi Kitsu of Japan. Come on, guys, we don't talk to your opponents. Good on your job. Let's see you bind up from both of you. The scrum reset. It's a bit of scrum. Bit of a drive on from Japan. Pulled down by Uruguay. Maybe we'll see a set move here from the Japanese. And they call for another scrum. Uh, going for the corner. The line out is working very well. Get some practice on that line out drive. Did score against the World 15 here with the same technique and last week as well. Hesketh runs onto the field. He was a bit quiet in Fukuoka in Level 5 Stadium. Perhaps just the one run. Khan Hesketh. Replacing Marle Sal. Let's see what that does to the backline position. He may go into center. Thompson. He's had a tape remo uh, removed from his head. Two, he's at the back there. There's a great hit, though, to stop him coming forward. By De Freitas. Japan regroup. Iwasa throws a wobbly one. He had a couple of his own players standing close, wanting the ball. Thompson joking with Gamanara. Iwasa there just couldn't find his target. And they'll go for another lineout. Japan take it cleanly. Broadhurst is uh, dropped though. He's on the floor. Go for Leach. And some backup. Nice setup. Quick ruck there. Oh no, again. Jatakawa battery ram. Battering ram that time. They recycle. Tui for run number 14, I would say. It's a knock on though. Knock on, strong. So a few execution errors coming from Japan, but they're trying everything. They are playing some nice rugby. I need you to be straight. straight. Last weekend's match, they dropped the ball four times within their own 22 on, on def in defensive situations when they turned the ball over and looking to put it downfield. We haven't seen that today. 
Instead, a couple of small knock-ons while going forward on attack, hot on attack. So pressure here on Uruguay. As the scrum goes down again, Clancy thinks about whistling. Blowing that whistle. Indeed he does, but it'll just be a reset. The last, the last couple of scrums have been poor. I need a better attitude. I need a better attitude. Come on. So a little... Uh, a wish from referee Clancy there for a better attitude to improve the scrums. So the scrums haven't been good. Once again, overextended down. And Uruguay, and that'll get them down the field. Yamashita, a call on him this time. But Chassi doesn't find touch, he finds Fukuoka. Goromaru, Hesketh gets up some speed. Khan Hesketh looks inside. Not tackled, he's still going. Hiwasa, oh no. Broadhurst is taken down low by Durant. Side entry from Hendrik Tui. They go quickly. Gamanara. Not back 10. Surely Japan. Makabe's in there. Stolen by Japan. There was Watanabe, the youngster. Koromaru, Broadhurst. Nice hands, Fukuoka has the space on the outside. That was brilliantly worked by Japan. Simple hands in the end. Players running onto the ball, holding their line. Kenki Fukuoka held his ground on the outside. We see the turnover here. That was a massive hit. Is it Yamashita? Now, Watanabe it was, of course, called that earlier. And here's the hands. Oh, no. Leach, runner behind. Go to Mato, Broadhurst, drawing the player. And poor communication, really. Levas should have been on that man. Player inside of him needed to call. Kenki Fukuoka is on the board. So, Yoshida started on the left wing last week Fukuoka has had a very good game this is just the 16th match for the national side Goromaru finds the middle of the post once again. He's only missed once tonight. That's 40 to nil. Japan over Uruguay. Dummy run at the prop. Another prop. And look at that. Their final pass was the crackers. Yamashita. Sorry, that was Kitsu, the hooker. Replacement hooker. Hendrik Tui offloads this time. Kitsu it is. Slick play. Yamushita taken down. They look confident, Japan. Their first up match against South Africa. The one after this one, Heskef. Gets away, he's in and out. How did he get past there? The pass is needed. 
Iwasa is taken. But Chessie gets away. Hold on to it. He's outrunning the front row. Giba now goes to ground for Uruguay as the reinforcements arrive. Gaminara bounces off one. Levas is in there close. It could be play on. It was off the foot. Nieto is there. They're looking tired, Uruguay, but they're trying. Omachea. Chessy. Nice hands. Levas. Japan to be intent on keeping a clean sheet here. Watanabe had two on his back. Intercept there from Luke Thompson. I don't think he's got the wheels to go all the way, so he puts it on on the foot. But Jesse, oh, and he gets him as well. But Jesse hasn't released yet. And there we go. Clancy thought it was a bit too long. Broadhurst goes quickly. Oh, no. Sends it out to Tui. And he throws a shocker of a pass. That was end to end stuff. Watch uh, Thompson here just stick out his big paw and go for a run. He tried to accelerate, summed it up. But he did well to get the uh, get hold of the shirt of the Uruguayan 10. Matushima was there, he was taken out as the Japanese players arrived. Well, I think there's a few names you can definitely put in the Japanese squad. One of them is Luke Thompson for yet another World Cup. 58th cap today. Maccabi going off as Hopgood comes on. Let's hope he hasn't re-injured himself. So close to the World Cup. Guys, come on. Listen to me. The attitude must be better. Bind up, drive straight, wait for the ball to come in. Let's go again. I'm very clear for, from uh, Clancy. Since you guys came on, must be better. So Hayden Hopgood played at seven last week. He's in the uh, in the end room this week for the last eight minutes. The Girans are on for. Uruguay, penalty scrum time, becoming a common occurrence late in the game. Yamashita, the call once again. But a drizzle coming down here on the players, making the ball very slippery. The camera's covered. The crowd don't seem to mind. They're carrying on. Still warm. Iwasa gets it away to Leach. Oh, no. The ball shoveled further out. Matsushima. So it showed a lot of energy. Fukuoka. A oh, brilliant play by Japan. There's a turnover. As they just tried to perhaps force... The pass one too many times. Leave us. Head Fukuoka all over him there. <laughs> yep. You can see these players trying to take every chance yeah. to impress. Well, I think they've certainly done that if they're in a red and white jersey. Fukuoka, good hands there as it was a quick flick on. All right, be careful. Tatakawa's got some skills. Levas is also impressed for Uruguay. A number of squads, of course, already named South Africa. Seven players from the previous World Cup. Oh, 
Scrum goes down eventually, Clouncy. Penalises Japan once again. That's three in a row. Bind. That time the bind on Watanabe. So Uruguay got a lot of work to do to get down the other end of the field. Need to put some phases together and a few throws lost in the line out taken by Duran Ford. The ball is out. The ball is out. The ball is out. Hawassa was quick onto it. Putting them on the back foot. Pressure from Japan. Forward pass there. It'll be advantage to Japan. See if they can do something here. No, they are not given the chance. Levas again, trying to take the short ball, but he was in front of the runner, and it was knocked on. Let's have a look here. Uh, Kose, Kose Ono, number 10 for Japan, has had a very good game. I think he's controlled it very nicely. Seems to be Nieto. The Uruguay number 8. In trouble again, injury-wise. This time it doesn't look like blood. Perhaps a shoulder injury. Or just a breather. Let's have a look. So, Japanese ball into the scrum. They'll be looking for another five points as well. Very good defensive effort to keep Uruguay out. Well, at the same time, you can't say Uruguay have produced much on attack. Hiwasa on the shuffles it on to Tatakawa. Suddenly finds himself in space. Matsushima Opened it up for him though. That's a penalty. Running behind the player. Yeah, crossing the call from Clancy. And perhaps one last chance for Uruguay to get down to the Japanese half. Win a line out and see what they can produce. And there we see it. As he blocked Roman. They do well with the line out to Uruguay. De Freitas took it on. Then it was Nieto. He puts it down and picks it up again. Can they hold on to it? They sure can. There's Nieto out there waiting for it, but he goes behind. Villaseca. Ball pops out somehow from uh, his grasp. It's a knock on. Close contact there. Uruguay, the ball very flat. Mm -hmm. 
Well, they just haven't got the execution right. And the running lines in the back line. They just, just seem to be shoveling the ball along and the Japanese defense is coming up nicely and just cutting them off, leaving them with very few options. Atsushi Hawasa. Yes, gets a free, pay, uh, free kick at the back of the scrum. Tatakawa hits it up. Stolen. Gamanara. A final flourish perhaps for Uruguay. Knocked on once again. And the moisture, perhaps the anxiety, the sort of anxious to get out there and impress. Perhaps becoming a bit of a handbrake here for the Uruguayan players. Time ticking down. Not a lot of time left to impress coach Pablo Lemoyne for a place in the squad and uh, announce tomorrow. Japan, 40 points to nil. A big win, their biggest win ever over Uruguay. Took their first victory last week after Uruguay had previously won their only encounter a number of years ago. They take it to uh, Hiwasa. Hesketh has been prominent after a uh, subpar performance last week good hands from japan given the slippery ball goromaru they look to keep it alive bit of a hole there but they shuffle it wide oh no puts it in the hands hesket again tui back on the angle taken first time this time one of the uh, for a rare on a rare occasion in the match. Nice jinking run. It's turned over yet again. Three, four turnovers from Uruguay in the last three minutes. Hesketh gets the fend on. It was Duran who got hold of him. Oscar Duran. Tatakawa. Matsushima. Shuffles. Caught by the shorts. Advantage says Clancy. He blows the whistle. It's a yellow card coming. Gamanara. That's enough. No discussion. He gets the first shower. Juan Manuel Gamanara. He's been very busy. But his night's over. Tatikawa. Leach. Takes out three of them, including Matthias Beer, the young flanker. Hiwasa has got some space. The halfback drives on with his legs there. Thompson, 196 at halfback. And again, not too bad at all. Leach takes contact. Broadhurst looks to protect, but he's on the deck now. Hiwasa, Omo. The ball shoveling along. Goromaru, Tui, Hesketh steps up his uh, opposition. Khan Hesketh rolls it in. Just off the foot there. Tatakawa as Clancy blows full time. Japan, a wry smile from Eddie Jones.